the attempts at turning it into, or let's put this, uh, der, let's say deriving the standard model of particles from it, that's been largely failure. Uh, not total failure. It is true that some of these theories look a good deal like the standard model, but they, they, uh, they're not. They're not. So um, that doesn't mean that we should get rid of string theory as a theory of the world. It means we should just be honest with ourselves and uh, not not be content with something that doesn't work and not tell the media. Incidentally, most of my friends who are string theorists don't go around uh, um, uh, proselytizing for it in the media and so forth. They, they don't. But somehow, um, and because of this, unfortunately, in some broader segment of the public, and that includes physicists, it's been interpreted that string theory is a failure. That's not correct. String theory is a structure, a mathematical structure, which has taught us all kinds of things about gravity and quantum mechanics and how they can coexist. But it has not been able, it has not been able to confront the real non-supersymmetric world yet. And maybe never. Uh, could it be that it's totally wrong and it's completely wrong-headed and the real theory of the real world has nothing whatever to do with string theory? Yes, it could be. I rather doubt it. I don't think so. I think it get close enough that you should, we should continue to look uh, for how it can be expanded. But, um, you know, I'm 84 years old. I, have, uh, I also have the baggage of uh, my first contact with string theory was 1969. And uh, as one of the so-called fathers of the subject, I have a proprietary interest in it. So you shouldn't take from me if I say that, uh, that I think maybe it can work in some expanded form. But I also think the skeptics are almost are way off base in what they say. Mm -hmm.